Ah, uh, Quark. You guys probably missed him. And also, I kind of had a thing happen, so I have to redo this. But anyway, ah, Quark. Don't worry about him. He'll, him, he'll, he'll be fine. You guys should know at this point. Nothing can give him Quark that easily. It's being spawned alive, shouldn't. This is the final boss, the mutant protopet, which I swear to god looks even more like a domestic therapy. It tries to go for the ammo box, and that can actually give it some new attacks, so you're gonna wanna watch it. And then when it summons more protopets? It's kinda weird, it does its own thing for a while. Doesn't care. It just like you see, it has that like shit eating grin where it's just watching us. Its main attacks are roll, summoning more proto pets, and trying to get to some of the ammo boxes. Actually, if it's near one, it'll try and get it. Like there, it was there was one there, but I think it is the box. This isn't really a hard boss, but I find that without the Sheepinator, no other weapon can really damage it that well. I mean, not the Sheepinator, the Heavy Bouncer. It's pretty easy to actually avoid some attacks if you're strafing a lot. But you do want to keep an eye out for ammo crates. Because if the, the, the Protopet actually can get one, it does quite a lot. It gets this rocket like attack. And that's pretty hard to avoid, and it actually goes for some time. The other thing to really use is probably the Mega Rocket Cannon. But as you can see, it does a little. It doesn't do that much. It does a very tiny amount. I don't think you can even really attack me. Beyond that, uh, not much else to this boss. I don't know why I hesitated there. Thank you for doing that. It doesn't actually have that many other attacks unless you let it get an ammo crate. That's the only, that's one of the things you need to watch out for letting it get one of those. Cause that could be bad. I don't think these perfects really need that much, but I think it's just that this fight would go on too long. Oh, looks like we're going to another phase, actually. Because as time goes on, it's going to start bouncing and then crush this. And also we get those enemies, but the protopet, as you just saw, can actually destroy them for you. So don't worry. I have to admit, Quark actually being the master minus time a little piece of twist, if you're real like it's time. Like now it's not that surprising. Or is a crap man. He, he looks dumb as a pair of bricks. But he is a lot smarter than he kind of knows. He still is really dumb, but he has his moments. Everything in his series has his moments. Trust me when I say that. I will admit that this is actually not too bad at Final Boss. I prefer it over Drek by far. Just just because Drek was pretty. Also, watch out for the frame rates. Whoa, what's with the blue one? Yeah, 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 crush him! Woo! Ammo. I kind of like the way the protopet moves. It actually looks like it's kind of jolly. It's like do 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 do. 
I don't know. There's something very amusing. Oh god. We've got that thing to worry about now. Oh! Tractor beam! I forgot about that! Come to Papa. I could use you. Alright! Come and get it! Come on. Nice. I can't believe that really works so well. That's just so random though, having a tractor beam there. Like, seriously? But you guys are definitely seeing why I wanted the heavy bouncer. It just does so well here. So many enemies and extra damage it accumulates. I think I could probably actually just get rid of the broken up right now. I don't know why I just stay here. With that shit eating grin. These weapons are actually kind of strong. Suck on that, you shitty freaking monster. You did it! It's okay. This is the real Mr. Fizzwidget. Quark had him tied up in a supply closet all this time. Gentlemen, you have my most profound gratitude. It was nothing, sir. I'm just sorry we couldn't get the helixomorph back. Right. What do you suppose is wrong with it? Uh, I don't know. It could take months of research and... The battery is in backwards. Oops. Imbecilic to the very last. <laughs> Down, boy. I just have to amplify the device with Megacorp's TV transponders, and that should cure the other protopets. Clank? Uh oh. It's okay. I can fix her. I promise. And that's Ratchet and Clank going commando. My first entry into the series. And it's a pretty good game on its own. It got me into the series. I mean, I was put off a few times by the difficulty. Mostly just because this is in comparison to Tools of Destruction and the PS2 games, which I played before the PS2 games in this game. But I just did not expect them. Either way, this is a pretty good game. I would still say you start with the first game, then go to this, and then Upper Arsenal. Upper Arsenal being the best of the PS2 games and of the game for a while until the crack in time. But yeah, this is a Great game to go through. It was pretty fun. I had some good moments with you all, I think. Not much else I can really say. Uh, I have to admit, I said for more Pondables and stuff, I did kind of want 100 percent the game, but I just didn't do that one for a while. I probably will on my spare time on the game. I don't know. Either way, you guys are noticing that the real Fizz would actually has a decent vocabulary that he's very intelligent. I just wish he actually did more. So, what do you like to do for fun? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so, whatever happened to Quark? I heard he was working at Megacorp. So, you fellas new here? You boys should sign up for the new Probomatic. That little baby cleans you something fierce. I just got done testing the full body waxinator. I am personally sporting a smooth chassis, and there are no tags on my luggage. All right then. Catch you later. Subject 23A. Please report immediately for crotchetizer testing. Well, duty calls. Don't know why that happened. I think there's gonna be another cut to the crotchetizer. <laughs> Either way, Ratchet and Clank is still a good series you guys should try out. I was kind of worried about the games post Kraken Time because they were just spin offs and not that interesting stuff. Like All for One and All for Assault. But from what I've heard, Into the Nexus is pretty good. I haven't played it, but I probably will. I have kind of been thinking of redoing the future games. But uh, that's for another time. I'm after up your arsenal. I am not moving to this game directly. 
I kind of thought about it earlier this year, but after I noticed how long it was taking to do the first game, this game has been really worth to do a whole series that I own. Besides that, there's not much I can really say about this game. I think the cutscene break is gonna happen, right? I also, Ratchet does have a new voice actor in this game. I think James Arnold Taylor. The sound, the effects, like the grunts the first guy made, sound very similar to James Arnold Taylor. I don't know why that is. I believe that Andrew's voice actress is actually either Phil and Lil from Rugrats or their mother. I think it's one of the two. I can certainly hear a resemblance. I also think the real Fizz Widget's voice actor is the same as Quark's. Regardless, the only thing I can really say is that the challenges, like all the space stuff and the racing is kind of overbearing. It really still does feel like they were trying to find their footing with this game, that they're trying to find a niche outside of shooting and platforming. But by Up Your Arsenal, I can frankly easily say Up Your Arsenal perfectly defined a series and set it for the rest of the let's right. Like, life span. Cheap. Just like Sparrow the Dragon. Alright, fellas. Nice and tight now. So you tested this, right? Oh, wait. That's why I'm here. <laughs> oh. One more thing! That... is scary. Crotch jokes, man. Challenge mode is a new thing in this series as well. It's, it gets a bolt multiplier, like you get 2, then 3, then 4 for being number of enemies. And then it resets after you get hit. You also get new upgrades for weapons as well. Enemies are tougher, but I still don't think it's that worthwhile. Most use of stuff with gadgets, etc. I'll set up challenge mode. Challenge mode is actually still pretty Welcome fun. Um, I like it personally. I again, I would not recommend ever doing a let's play for you, those of you aspiring let's players of doing a challenge mode run. Just because I think some of the charm is lost, but oh well. Ratchet reporting. Anyway, challenge will be start off back in Planet Arenos. You see that for some reason our weapons are quick selected. Different. We also don't have our gadgets. We have all our weapons, thankfully. The only gadget we keep is a charge boots for some odd reason. Illegal expansion. It's nice that we got to keep that. I think the rest of these are just missed stuff you get throughout the game. Um, let's see first person mode. Yeah, this is pretty interesting. Plays like a first person shooter, and your, your wrench is always gonna be thrown as well. It's nice, not that notable though. I personally do not like it. Random stuff. Spacious wars. Paintings. Is that ratchet with a mustache? Are those sheep? I don't really know how the hell I'm supposed to play that. I actually don't know. What's supposed to be doing? I've never actually done that. Let's see, paintings. Ooh. This is like concept art. We're about chasing Ratchet. Nice concept art, actually. I like that. Do some interesting designs. Exterminator is probably the fucks for the last guy, actually, now I think about it. it, it it kind of seems like it would be. The Snow Beast. I 
Oh, wait, no, that's actually supposed to be the feet, then. Anjo's original role. The unknown. Okay, so that's the thief. I like the art, actually. That's pretty interesting. That's maybe not mustache, but it looks like a mustache. Shortcuts. How the heck do you get this? That moves everything, um... Actually, hold on. Sketchbook. Let's take a look at that. I never actually noticed pointed this out. I never pointed this out, but it looks like there's a 2 in a logo. Hmm. Anyway, this is random stuff. You know, more sketches, more painting, etc. B2 Brawler. Chain Man. And in Barlow, that is... More basic enemies and stuff. Kind of lose a bunch of stuff. I think that's make for armor, actually. I use a planet bullet in music, but this is also some of the weapons you get as well. It's probably a multi star. Yeah, it is. Still an okay weapon, in my opinion. It's a decent concept. I just don't find a use for it after a while because it kind of can prove me. Oh, Guru, um, those guys from the race is. <laughs> huh, different era from Man Jobo. Was that supposed to be Planet Yido? Those are the armors you get. Seal. Don't show the Carbonox. That's very odd. Also, I don't know why in the cutscene at the end, Ratchet is for some reason exporting his default outfit instead of the one you have. Every other one has, I guess, is pre rendered, so that's why. That's pretty much it, though. I'll show up the full multiplier, though. And also, this is the only way to go back to the original version of Planet Arenos. You can't access it again. I think the game will actually explain things. I see these enemies are kind of durable, actually. And they're taking a lot. And you see they have a multiplier of two. And now I have multiplier of three because I killed another enemy. But yeah, the enemies are really beefed up now. Do I just how much you're beefed up on? I probably should have some of those upgrades for the Lancer then. Either <laughs> the way, that's about it. There's nothing else you're going to go on My challenge one is still worthwhile to go for in my opinion. I just don't think it's great for a let's play, per se. Because I, you're going to want to experience new things with a person. With a person on. I don't just think it's that good for a let's play. It's not that good to like, experience. I like doing. I like it even a bit less by from start. Like you start fresh. There's something about it. And then this is the stuff on the multiplier. The multiplier. I never get up to 20. But it's just there. I mean, it's nice. Could have been so much Even the mini nukes not doing that much. You have to basically get the mega. But that's it. I'm pretty much done with this. That's why. So we'll see you guys for Up Your Arsenal and God of War 3.